Since its inception in 2007, the KCB Foundation has supported many initiatives that cater for the health and well-being of the communities we serve. These are the areas of uh, education, environment, enterprise development, health and humanitarian aid. So to date, the Foundation has injected upwards of 500 million shillings uh, in various community programs. The focus in healthcare has been the provision of dialysis machines to the main referral hospitals in the country. The goal is to increase the number of patients accessing the life-saving treatment at an affordable cost. Uh, a dialysis machine is a machine that uh, you take out the blood from a patient you take it through the machine, it is washed, so to speak, and then you return it. At the Kenyatta National Hospital, we indeed require 40 machines to be able to effectively look after patients. Even patients from Mombasa, Kisumu, Nakuru, preferring to come to Kenyatta for dialysis rather than stay in their places. Management of kidney disease is expensive and access to dialysis in public hospitals is limited. In uh, the private hospitals in this town, they, they cost 9,000 shillings per session. They normally need two to three sessions every week. So that means 18,000 shillings to 27,000 shillings every week so as to be on regular dialysis. The KCB Foundation has been at the forefront to reduce hardship faced by patients by supporting dialysis machines for public hospitals. The KCB Foundation has already invested more than 15 million shillings to install dialysis machines and equipment to the following hospitals. Consolata Mission Hospital, Coast General Hospital. I have a lot of machines for dialysis here Coast General. Tukua tunaenda kusikuza safiri kutoka hapa, kama mini kuna safiri kutoka hapa kuenda Kenyata, alafu ni malambiri kwa wiki na saa ingine unaenda Kenyata unakosa mashini. So vile kuna mashini hapa, mini mefraia KCB na mungu awabariki. Kenyatta National Hospital and the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital. It was at the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital where the KCB Foundation donated a dialysis water treatment plant. The water treatment plant that we had could only handle two. So we were having four machines and we could only use two. So we, it was a big challenge and KCB Foundation was a board sent to the hospital and we thank God they had our, our request and it was realized and that is what we are commissioning today. But dialysis on its own cannot address all the needs of patients with permanent kidney failure. The only way out for such patients is kidney transplants. For most, this treatment is simply unaffordable. Costs for kidney transplants range from 500,000 Kenya shillings at public hospitals like Kenyatta National Hospital to upwards of 2 million shillings in private facilities. The KCB Foundation's approach to the manage management of kidney disease is uh, basically intervention in the short run through these dialysis machines, support for the dialysis machines. But in the long term, to support the Kenyatta National Hospital in its um, kidney transplantation program. And it is for this reason that the KCB Foundation has partnered with Kenyatta National Hospital to provide kidney transplants for children. Mother Janet Wambua certainly understands the benefits of the KCB Foundation and Kenyatta National Hospital's transplant program. I was breeding breeding too much and I tumbo. So I na uso pia kampeleka hospitali sasa nilipompeleka hospitali aliendelea na matibabu sasa wakaona iko too serious wakamfanyia scan wakaona ni shida ya kidini sasa kutoka machakos ndio walinituma saa kinyata kwa hiyo nataka kushukuru sana KCB Foundation nataka kuwashukuru sana kwa sababu nimejitolea kuwasaidia watoto tumefurahi juu ametusaidia na pesa ya transplant we know for a fact that it costs more to go to a private hospital. This is not for debate, but we know as a fact. And therefore, we as a public institution, we, we are more, more inclined to go this way, where our contribution will have a bigger impact 
than a private hospital. And therefore, the board has decided it will deal with the, with the public hospitals. As cases of kidney disease continue to rise worldwide, it is important that we all take preventive action as most kidney diseases are treatable. Uh, the most common cause of this is uncontrolled hypertension. So if you have hypertension which is not well controlled, you will go on to develop uh, complete destruction of the kidneys. The other important cause is what we call glomerulonephritis, which is inflammation of the units of the kidney that filter the blood and remove the, 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 the chafu into the urine. The other important cause is diabetes mellitus. And the last one is the inherited diseases as well as obstructive diseases, obstruction to the urine flow. In our population, 10% of the population have some form of kidney disease. That means out of uh, 40 million Kenyans, some 4 million have some form of kidney disease. The KCB Foundation shall continue supporting public hospitals by providing dialysis machines and together enable patients to access life-saving treatment affordably.